Hello, my fellow magic enthusiasts. Today, we are learning the Hammond Count. This is one of the most useful moves in magic because you can do a lot of different things with this, especially if you're doing stuff with visual magic. So if you like visual magic, this is definitely something you should learn. And if you like false counts, this is also definitely something you should learn. Now, before we jump in, I want to give a little bit of history about Brother John Hammond, the original creator of this move. And you'll notice that on this channel, I like to do that a lot, just add a little bit of history. So I'd like to announce that I'm actually trying to create some videos that are specifically dedicated to in-depth history of the magic community. So if that fascinates you, you're definitely going to want to subscribe and stay tuned for that because it is coming out. Also, if you're going to subscribe, you might as well smash the like button and hit the little bell icon so you don't miss out on any updates with what's going on here at the channel. Anyways, that being said, let's actually learn about Brother John Hammond. So this guy actually created over a hundred magic tricks in his lifetime. That's a whole lot. Now the fact is, he was actually well known in the magic community and actually got one of the highest honors you can get, which is being called the Magician for Magicians. This is basically a title for somebody who performs for magicians and actually is recognized by his peers as being one of the best. So it's pretty high honor indeed. And that being said, this move is probably one of the moves that he's most well known for. After all, it's named after him. Now he lived from 1927 all the way to the year 2000. So it's not like he was somebody who lived long, long, long ago. It was actually pretty recent. So that basically sums up the history we're gonna cover here. If you'd like to learn more about him, I'll leave a link to an article where you can actually learn more about him and the history behind his life. So let's actually start to learn this move. Now it's actually not that difficult. It's pretty simple. I'll give you a quick demonstration. So let's say I want to show five cards, right? But I actually have four. That's what I'm going to do right now. You can see here that I actually have one, two, three, four, five cards, just like that. But in reality, I actually have four. See, now it's very convincing. It's very easy to do and you can do it quickly, which is nice because it looks natural. It looks intuitive. So people aren't going to suspect anything at all. Now let's give an example of how you could use it if you wanted to, let's say, hide a card of a different color. So what we'll do right now is we'll add in a card of a different color into a pack of four. So what I would do here is I say, look, I have one, two, three, four like that. See? And now I've created the illusion that all the cards are blue. Super cool. Now that, that being said, if you want to learn a quick little magic trick that uses this move, along with a few other false counts and maneuvers, uh, be sure to check out the links down below. There is one down there that teaches a quick little routine that you can do that I'm sure will impress and it's a lot of fun to learn. It's just a good way to practice these moves anyway. So basically what's going to happen is to perform this move, you're going to be doing a switch okay, of two packets. And you're going to do this using the ring finger all right, and the middle finger. So ring finger, middle finger. And let's just give you an example. Let's say I pull one off like this. I'm gonna be holding it between the middle finger and the thumb. So I pull one off, I pull another one off. And then when I pull this one underneath, these two cards here, they come up and I place them between the thumb and the ring finger. And now the middle finger lets go of these two cards as you grab them using the little crevice here in the thumb just like that, bam. And then you pull off one more, and you pull off one more, and you've counted five at this point. That's one, two, three, four, five. Pretty direct. Now, here's the cool thing. We'll get a close-up look of it as well, just to give you a good, solid view of what's going on. So here's what it looks like. You say, look, I'm going to pull over one card. I'm gonna pull over two cards. I'm going to pull over four cards, I'm gonna pull over, I'm sorry, three cards, I'm gonna pull over four cards, I'm gonna pull over five cards. So there's the move, right? Super slow motion, boom. Now it's actually not that difficult to learn and it shouldn't take you that long, uh, but once you get it down, you can start doing a lot of crazy stuff with it. And in fact, I'm gonna teach some more magic using this here as well. So just keep that in mind. Anyways, I wanna thank you for being here. And if you like this material, then please smash that like button. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you'd like to see more magic like this, please watch more videos here on YouTube or check out the Leap Magic Academy website, which is linked down below. At that website, there's lots of cool stuff like advanced magic that you can buy or cool props and stuff like, well, this Elite Magic Academy close-up pad. So 
you want to get any of that, check it out. Thanks for your time, and hopefully I'll see you again soon.